Why are eggs getting so expensive? How is a volcano impacting beer production? From meat to veggies to alcohol, these are the foods that might be in short supply throughout 2023. Beef, as its producer's slogan suggests, is what's for dinner, but in 2023, it's likely to be in short supply, thereby forcing Americans to get their robust protein fix from something other than red meat. According to Beef Magazine, the USDA estimates that the average American will consume 5.6% less beef in 2023 than they did in 2022, which would mark the steepest decline in consumption in nearly 40 years. The choice by consumers to buy less beef is largely related to economic concerns, such as inflation, lackluster GDP growth, and escalating costs brought on by an ongoing beef shortage. As reported by The Washington Times, a devastating drought hit Texas in summer 2022. While the Lone Star State is typically responsible for 14% of the U.S. beef supply, the drought resulted in a lack of grass feed for cows. Since alternative feeds are currently too expensive to be cost-effective, this issue has resulted in early coals and the slaughter of numerous cows not meant to be processed until 2023. Where is the beef? Lettuce was harder to find than usual in the United States in 2022. The main reasons for this shortage were suboptimal weather and virulent plant diseases. These complications worked in concert to cause significant blows to the lettuce crop in California, where most of America's supply of the vegetable is grown. According to the Grower Shipper Association of Central California, the region in and around the agricultural cradle of Salinas recently experienced multiple unseasonable periods of warm weather. This atypical climate upset and scorched lettuce plants, leaving them vulnerable to disease. That's when impatience necrosis Necrotic spot virus, or INSV, struck. INSV first manifests as spotting and discoloration, and after it hits, it's often followed by pythium wilt, which makes the lettuce saggy, unpalatable, and unsellable. This combination of weather and diseases has resulted in much less available lettuce throughout the United States, creating a shortage set to last into 2023. Unlike some other items on this list, the looming possibility of a beer shortage in 2023 isn't necessarily because of the inaccessibility of raw ingredients needed to produce this product. Instead, the problem is a lack of the materials necessary to carbonate and package the drink. Beer's all that matters to me. The demand for aluminum blew up during the early months of the COVID-19 pandemic as millions of people shifted to drinking beer at home instead of at bars or in breweries. Pet adoption rates also drastically rose, causing canned pet food companies to use up a lot of the available aluminum. According to WKMG News, with stocks already depleted, China implemented a reduction in aluminum processing to cut down on pollution, reducing the global production of aluminum by as much as 20%. And that's not the only problem. A key ingredient in making beer is carbon dioxide, which is also harder to obtain than it was a few years ago. According to Axios, carbon dioxide's solid form, dry ice, was in heavy demand during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic as it was used for the shipping of COVID-19 vaccines. The carbon dioxide supply chain suffered even more damage in September 2022 when a major production facility in Mississippi became contaminated by a nearby extinct volcano. According to European law, real champagne must be grown, fermented, and bottled within 100 miles of the Champagne region of France. Any sparkling wine produced outside these restrictions can only be sold as sparkling wine. Unfortunately, the real stuff could be in short supply in 2023. The demand for champagne reportedly decreased by 18% in 2020, a drop that's likely linked to the bleak state of affairs caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. That year, the organization that regulates the French champagne industry called for a 25% reduction in its production, according to wine enthusiasts. The issue is that once 2021 rolled around, people started buying a lot more champagne, and the increase in demand outpaced the existing supply. Another source of the shortage is that it takes at least 15 months to make a proper bottle of champagne. For this reason, the effects of the pandemic-era fluctuations will surely limit champagne availability well into 2023. Weather problems have also played a part. In March 2021, a heat wave in the Champagne region, followed by an unseasonal period of frost, destroyed a large portion of grapevines. Higher-than-usual levels of rain in the summer then created a devastating mildew. The subsequent harvest of champagne grapes wound up being the lowest in decades and champagne consumers will be certain to feel this decrease for years to come.
Florida is one of the world's most prolific regions for growing oranges and producing orange juice. According to the Florida Department of Citrus, the state's near tropical temperatures, abundant sun, regular rainfall, and sandy soil usually make up the perfect conditions for growing oranges. However, when that weather gets even a little bit out of whack, it can lead to catastrophic effects on Florida's orange crop, and the Sunshine State experienced several severe climate events going into 2023. In 2022, Hurricane Ian and Tropical Storm Nicole brought high winds and torrential rains that decimated the Florida orange crop. What's more, these storms followed an epidemic of citrus greening, a plant disease that makes oranges fall off branches before they're ready, resulting in bitter-tasting fruit. In the October 2022 to September 2023 season, Florida farmers are expected to produce 20 million boxes of oranges, less than half of what they saw the previous season. This would make for the greatest drop in orange production since 1913 and the lowest overall harvest since 1937. We were really hoping for a bounce back here and we just didn't get it. The raw materials used for cooking oils are part of a category of commercial agriculture known as oilseed crops. Examples of oilseed crops are soybeans, sunflowers, peanuts, rapeseed, and canola, which are each processed into millions of bottles of the fatty plant oil used to cook our food. According to the Brookings Institution, the vast majority of oilseed crops are harvested in Russia and Ukraine, which remain at war with each other as of early 2023. With those countries preoccupied by the military conflict, exports are expected to be way down down, leading to shortages of cooking oil and higher prices for the units that remain. To make matters worse, the distribution of palm oil in particular has become quite complicated. According to AgriVision, Indonesia, the world's leading producer of palm oil, temporarily banned exports in April 2022. At the end of that year, the Economic Times reports that Indonesia also limited exports so that producers had to keep one ton of palm oil in the country for every six shipped out. Previously, Indonesia kept one ton of palm oil for every eight exported, making for a 25% decrease in the amount of Indonesia's supplies circulating globally. Refrigerated butter shelves in supermarkets won't be empty anytime soon, but the United States has been enduring some supply and cost issues with butter since the last few months of 2022. According to the Consumer Price Index, inflation on consumer goods led to a 9.1% average price hike in 2022, with food costs rising by more than 12% over the course of the year. While a range of issues is responsible for this economic crisis and a wide variety of foods were impacted by the change, butter experienced one of the steepest price upticks of any item. This was specifically due to a lengthy labor shortage in the dairy farm sector and a subsequent reduction in milk production. Less work means less milk, which in turn means less butter. As reported by the Wall Street Journal, the overall butter supply is at the lowest it's been since 2017. Holiday feasting and baking at the end of 2022 led to a run on the nation's already reduced butter stocks, so that shortage is likely to extend into the early months of 2023. According to Farmers Advance, milk production is likely to increase somewhat after that, but it will take a while before farmers and food corporations can process it into sellable butter. Corn is the single most lucrative cash crop in America. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, the production, distribution, and sale of corn contributed $71.1 billion to the American economy in 2021. For this reason, the industry and its regulators keep a close watch on how much corn is produced. In 2022, farmers were set to plant 89.5 million acres of crops, about 4% less than they had in 2021. That means corn farms were positioned to produce 3.7 million fewer acres worth of the cash crop, making for a significant dent in the overall corn supply. This could very well result in a scarcity of corn and corn-based products in stores in 2023, as well as higher prices on the corn that does make it to market. Eggs are an essential ingredient in a vast variety of baked goods, as well as a protein-rich breakfast and brunch staple on their own. Alas, a nationwide egg shortage is reportedly set to interrupt breakfast plans for millions in 2023. The shortage is a direct result of the avian flu outbreak that decimated the United States bird population in 2022. One of the largest outbreaks in American history by the end of the year, bird flu led to the deaths of more than 49 million birds across 46 states. While many of these deaths were caused directly by the virus itself, many other birds were culled by farmers after getting exposed to the disease. 
The virus has a near 100% mortality rate in poultry, so entire flocks must be euthanized if flu is detected in one member. Since eggs come from chickens, the death of millions of hens significantly affected the nation's supply. According to the Washington Post, there were also pre-existing supply chain issues brought on by the pandemic and increasing labor costs. As a result, the eggs that did make it to stores cost a lot more than usual. For example, in early 2023, a dozen eggs purchased in California reportedly carried a price tag three times higher than consumers would have seen in 2022. According to California's Department of Food and Agriculture, a third of the United States' vegetables and 75% of its fruit and nuts came from the Golden State in 2021. Generally, California offers wonderful weather for crops. However, when a drought occurs, it can create cataclysmic effects on the food supply. Since the state is in the midst of its driest three-year period in recorded history, that's exactly what's happening now. In August 2022, the U.S. Department of Agriculture reported that the lack of rain could prove particularly terrible for tomatoes farmers. Production forecasts dropped by 2% compared to the 2021 yield, which could lead to far fewer tomatoes being available in 2023. Consequently, this shortage could also impact the availability of many products made with tomatoes, such as ketchup and pasta sauce. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has continued into 2023, and its ramifications continue to be felt in the food world and beyond. According to the Brookings Institution, about 20% of the world's cereal grain production comes from those two countries, whose large-scale farming operations remain interrupted. This is likely to result in a shortage of wheat products, including bread. Bloomberg notes that exports resumed in November 2022, but it could take some time for the wheat supply to return to pre-war levels. Notably, the military conflict isn't the only factor that could lead to bread scarcity, as climate change also looms large. According to The Conversation, rising temperatures are reportedly decreasing yields of cash crops around the world, including wheat that's earmarked to make bread. When a popular food is only grown in a handful of regions throughout the world, it can take many months of work and growing to meet the global demand. That's why it became evident as early as summer 2022 that an olive oil shortage was in the cards for 2023. According to Atlas Obscura, this issue was actually foreshadowed more than a decade before it started making headlines. Back in 2010, a tree-blighting bacteria called Xylella fastidiosa surfaced and made its way to the Italian region of Puglia. Puglia is responsible for 12% of the world's olive oil supply, and by 2021, Xylella had infected a third of the area's 60 million olive trees rendering the fruit unusable before completely killing the trees themselves. For the first time in history, Italy has begun importing olive oil for its own consumption. The bacteria has caused a more than 50% reduction in olive oil production since it took hold, and this issue will likely persist beyond 2023. As a result of both the Puglia crisis and a 2022 heat wave in Spain, another hotbed for olive oil manufacturing, the U.S. Department of Agriculture predicts an 11% drop in olive oil production throughout 2023. In February 2022, Abbott, the America's largest infant formula manufacturer, temporarily halted production and issued a massive recall when they discovered bacteria at a facility. By May 2022, more than 40% of the country's usual formula stock was unavailable. Big retailers like CVS and Target issued purchase limits, and the White House intervened by obtaining millions of servings of the vital food and distributing it to those in need. According to Reuters, the shortage is no longer as critical as it was at its worst, but it still continued throughout 2022 and will likely last into the middle of 2023. In December of 2022, Reckitt Ben Kieser, the manufacturer for the popular formula company Enfamil, announced that while many companies had increased production, there's still a long way to go before the formula stock will get back to where it was in 2021. 